Today we're going to continue our series on quilting 101 and today we're going to talk about how to cut your fabric. Cutting is easy. Trust me, I promise, it's very easy. Once you get it, you got it. Hello, I am Jackie and I want to personally welcome you to Jackie Russell Creates where I give you tips, tricks, and techniques on how to make that next quilt, whether it's big or small. So subscribe if you want to learn more on how to make that next beautiful quilt project you have in mind. So to get started, cutting your fabric, you're going to need a rotary cutter, a sharp one. Make sure your blade is new and nice and sharp. You're going to need a ruler. I like to have one that's at least six inches by 24 inches. It makes it great to be able to cut the full fabric. You're going to need a cutting mat. I have here a large one. It is 36, which is a yard by 24 inches. You can get a little smaller one, but the bigger that you can get within your budget is best. And of course, you're going to need some fabric. So fabric off the bolt cotton weight is typically 42 inches long. <clears throat> That's like if you open it up, it's going to be 42 inches. So a yard of fabric is typically 36 inches long by 42 inches wide. The top and the bottom of the fabric is called the salvage. It's going to be, normally it will have a white edge which will give you the name of the fabric and like different um, circles or squares for coordinating fabric. <clears throat> and then sometimes it's just continuation of the print but you can tell by the texture that it's the salvage edge. So when you're cutting, you'll want to hold your fabric with the salvage edges together. Kind of like how it comes off the bolt. You can see when I shift it a little bit here that the bottom part is all wonky and not straight. That is because it's off grain. So you want to line them up, the edges up as much as you can till you have a straight grain. And that is so this fold area is straight and not shifted. And then I like to lay the fold down along the bottom edge of my mat. So you want to make sure that you're cutting on the grain You want so you have less stretch. If you cut on the bias, it's going to be very stretchy and that can cause your pieces to come out of shape and out of size. So you want to make sure that this line is straight on the cross grain so that you're cutting on the grain of the fabric. So this is how I learned how to cut and I'm sure that there's plenty of other ways out there but this is how I am most comfortable with. So the first thing you need to do is you got to make sure that your table is sturdy and at the right height. Mine is a little shorter than it should be. I normally have it up raised up a little higher but for filming purposes, I'm keeping it down. But you'll want to roll your shoulder back. Just relax those arms. You know, you don't want to be too tense. And what you're going to do is when you're cutting, you're going to be pulling in from your abs. Kind of like you're pulling your stomach in to zip up your bridges. That's what your, the, your, the posture that you should be creating to get that clean cut. I also stagger my feet 
I put one in front of the other one. Normally, it is my left foot that I have in front because I'm right-handed. So then when I'm sewing or cutting, I'm able to push. So you want to stagger your feet just a little bit. And that also helps from locking your knees and causing you to faint. So make sure you have your feet a little staggered. And I also stand to the side from where I'm cutting. So if I'm cutting this edge, you can see that I'm my hips are aligned over a little bit. So then when I'm cutting, I'm, my arm and shoulder is straight with the line I'm cutting with. So I have my fabric <clears throat> aligned on the bottom edge of my cutting mat. Then I align my ruler up just enough to cut a little bit off, depending on how much of the raw edge I need to cut off. What I like to do is I take one of these lines on my ruler and line it up, and then I line up the long edge as well. Okay, there we go. I'm going to press using the whole weight of my arm and my body. And I'm starting with my blade off the mat. And you notice I'm using my arm. My wrist is not bent. So I'll flip it over and cut this other side off here. Just to show again. So I line up that bottom. I line up the long edge. I don't bend my wrist. My wrist stays straight and I just use my arm to cut the fabric. If you have a problem of holding down your ruler, you can take a weight and put up here. Or you can, you know, shimmy your hands up to be able to cut. So that is how you would cut, that's how you square up your fabric. Now if you need to cut a piece, I normally will cut on this end. I line up my edge of my fabric on the edge of my mat and the bottom line. And if I use my mat, my cutting mat, as my guide of how much I need to cut. So if I need to cut a 12 inch piece of fabric, I line it up on the edge here, on the bottom here so I know it's square. I line up a marking here, put my ruler right on the 12 inch mark and then I Cut along. So when you're cutting, you need to make sure that your blade is on the inside. So it's connecting up against the ruler. I like to have about an eighth inch ruler to cut with. It just gives the better glide. When I cut, I go from off the mat, straight up, off the mat again. I try not to stop on any of the edges or start on the edge. I make sure the mat it's off and cut straight. So I hope that gave you a tip on how to cut your fabric. If it did, please hit the subscribe button and comment below. Do you use your mat to cut with? as your guide or do you use your ruler 
as your marking guide on how much you were to cut on your fabric. Until then, happy quilting, my friends. Thank you.